suggest that you look at another career opportunity. Be the creator of your own destiny. What do you mean by that? You can be a social entrepreneur. You can build up an institution in yourself. You can actually start, for instance, a factory for producing some of the prefab elements, some building components. You can develop an institution that trains people in the basic skills. These are avenues that I am sure you must have thought about. Skilling India is a big challenge for the government. Migrant laborers are slowly going back. We need to probably get back the legacy of civil engineering back to our state. We need to give them training. We need to develop training institutions for bettering the skills of artisans. Who will do that? Civil engineers will do it. So right from there, two very simple tasks of taking up work from your is going to be probably two of the day. You don't have to work for anybody, you can work for yourself and make money if you want. If you decide to, if you really decide that this is the kind of salary, this is the kind of income that you have in your building, no other field will give you such an opportunity. I just make it very, very, very simple for you. You take up the construction work so just two residences in an year. Two residences which might uh, cost around. Two residences together, that cost around one crore of rupees. And the legitimate return that you get, legitimate, let me underline that, but legitimate return that you get out of this. 10%. Government allows 10% contractors profit. Just look at it. Two buildings a year. Which means you don't have to spend even two hours a day for these kind of goals. You probably going to need to manage it from home, go to the site at times, manage people, manage materials, manage money. And you don't get a return, legitimate return that you can make out of it. Is more than 1 million rupees per year. For a start, don't you think it's good money, good opportunity? And you are a social entrepreneur yourself. You don't have to work for everybody else. You can design your life. I just talk about two buildings. In the years to come, it can be many, many fold. You take up contracts, you can be a builder, you can run a factory, you can run a, a you know, institution like that. So, in short, in short, let me conclude this session because I need to uh, interact with the students at last. In short, we are looking at opportunities that actually will give a lot of, lot of scope for you. Life is in front of you. For people like me, more than half the life have gone. Life is in front of you. You have to achieve. And for achievement, no other discipline of engineering. I'm telling you because I'm, I'm sure some of you may be looking at uh, other disciplines of engineering. I don't want to cast a shadow over them. But I'm telling you, very soon we will realize that some of the aspirations are going to be like bubbles which can burst. They are not going to be stable. All these disciplines that you have in mind, probably which will give you better economic opportunities in the beginning, are going to be transient. We are going through several crises in the, in, in the near future, in the near past, you know, like the near future also is going to come. I don't want to name the disciplines, you know it, you know, this gives you maximum economic benefits. Economic benefits, they will come little slow. You make a, you become you become academically oriented now, finish your course, then decide. Pursue your dreams. 
and you are going to become a very happy civil engineer. You will never regret that decision. Some of you, I wish, uh, if I have motivated you enough, and you are going to take civil engineering as a, as a, as a, as a with passion and compassion, as you are like, you are going to make a career, it's not only a career option that you are going to make, you are going to make a life option. So this option that you are going to make, I told you in the beginning, is either going to make your life or break your life. But hold my hand. Let me tell you, as a person who has walked uh, this distance before, 30 to 35 years in the profession, let me tell you with such conviction that I have enjoyed every minute of this day. Come confident, go your way, choose the civil engineering as a favorite discipline, favorite area of study for you. Thank you.